developer for several years and you're coming in as somebody relatively new to the industry, mm -hmm. of course you guys have great experience on uh, when it comes to working on property. What, what does it look like to cultivate a great team atmosphere? on property like what is what do you just absolutely have to have for teams on property to come together to work together well and and not just get a job done but to enjoy working together what what does that look like for y'all i feel like it's really just open communication mm -hmm. um the team that i'm with currently i feel like um we're a pretty strong team and it's because of the communication that we have um, with each other. We're always letting each other know what the next person could do to make our jobs easier. Okay. Um, we're all, always willing to help the next person pick up slack if, oh, today's your off day, but you have like plenty of leases that you need to run. It's okay because I'm here to help you mm -hmm. or we have another le um, leasing agent that's there to help you or even our community manager, she'll step in and do tours or whatever needs to be done to kind of lessen the load on the next person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. What about you, Mara? Um, I think it's uh, all about having fun and um, enjoying coming to work. You don't want to wake up in the morning and say, oh, here I am. I got to go to work. No, I feel like my team, mm -hmm. myself... <laughs> I love coming to work, and I know they, they do too, and um, as far as my leasing consultant, she would love to go out there, market for the team, making her flyers, um, it's something that she loves. Make it make it joyful. Um, when you make a resident event, uh, be excited for it. Hey, I want to do this, I want to do this. I'm like, I'm right on. I support them on however they want to go ahead and conduct their resident events. Um, cause it's, it's all of us as a family, honestly, and just making it fun, not coming to do an eight hour job and not for us to be busy, but for us to be productive. What are you thinking, Larry? What about what, when you, when you've seen, you've said what, four to five properties now yes. over the last 10 years, what makes a team really click and work well for you? Well, in my opinion, I think it's important to cross train. I try to get my guys out to the same speed that I am. I don't want them to think that I'm better than them or I know more than them. Just give them that respect and let them know that their opinion is valued mm -hmm. and just communicating. Yeah. Basically communicating, letting them know where I'm at on my schedule, where they need to be, and just getting along. Yeah. I, I definitely believe teamwork make the dream work. Yes. So <laughs> yes. We're lucky. We have a, a bunch of incredible training supervisors, tenured. There's quite a, quite a few other gentlemen that I wish could join us today, too. But every property is different, the size, the staff count of what they can do. And so I'll have some faster paced, uh, large properties where they can't necessarily do things together. And I'll watch the supervisor hit this, you know, maybe, maybe he's on a service ticket for a challenging AC. He hits this hurdle and is like, this is a one-off. I'll see him pause, mm -hmm. go call the, the person on his team that's really wanting to learn more about ACs, bring them over and say, let's do this together. I want you to see this. Mm -hmm. And then you can go back to what you're working on. So that communication, knowing what your team wants to improve on, mm -hmm. and then taking the time to slow down to include them. I love watching them do it. And so because it, we found it so successful with us and we just, we literally lean on each other so hard. We wanted to do that for the other managers, assistants, mm -hmm. and leasing. It's very important for you to get to know your colleagues mm -hmm. and to learn from each other and not be so competitive, which can happen. Right. Yeah. It can, it very much can happen, especially when you're at a property and you are like, this is my only job and this is my only property. And I'm like, you don't see it yet, but you, you gotta think global, yeah. you know? But you yeah. see it as you get older and yeah. grow a little bit more in your career, but. Yeah, well, I will say we provided um, outings for our service teams too. And the first one we did was paintball. So I just have to bring that up <laughs> because I was like, guys, are we sure we want everybody to have a paintball gun in their hand? Guess that. what? I bet we we helped uh, provide an opportunity for 20 sets of best friends. They, <laughs> after they shot each other, yeah. they all became really yeah. good friends. So it was fun, <laughs> yeah. But that ultimately goes back to building relationships, right? Yeah. That's yeah. learning from each other, yeah. learning from your peers. And to me, that goes yeah. back into that training and development yeah. side of things. And, and investing so. in people. Yes. And yep. when you invest in people mm -hmm. and you encourage them to play nice together and get along, I mean, they see bigger picture and they yeah. wanna help each other out and help each property be successful. Yeah. It's important for them to know that when they come in and they know they're taking on a responsibility that mm -hmm. I'm saying, hallelujah, you're here. <laughs> because this is exactly what we need. Mm -hmm. And when they actually start incorporating what they're 
responsibilities are and everybody is open-minded and kind of ties in, yeah. it flows easy mm -hmm. yeah. and it makes the day nicer. Nobody is so stressed out and there are no errors. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very important as leaders yeah. to make sure, no, 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 we don't have any errors about us because yeah. we're here to help you grow. They're here to help us grow mm -hmm. because I have a lot of team members that I have to go and ask them, hey, how do you turn the computer on? No. <laughs> oh my God. Wait a minute. <laughs> George. <laughs> so, um, but, they, but they love it because they, they know and they know me yeah. and they yeah. know, ah, she's yeah. going to ask. They already know. So they're, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a beauty. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a nice thing to know. You have to be open-minded to it and mm -hmm. welcome it. Staying in the loop. I mean, everybody has to be in the loop. Okay. Everyone has to know of the issues. Like, it's it's mandatory. Mm -hmm. Or else there's going to be, why didn't you do this? And then I didn't know about it because no one communicated it to me. So it's always good to have meetings, talk to them, let them know, hey, do you have anything that you need to tell me that I'm not aware of? Or parts ordered, stuff like that. Um, it's really important between the office and maintenance team. Follow up on work orders. Uh, it's really important. We've been doing that lately, so <laughs> uh, and they really appreciate that. So it's yeah. Yeah. mandatory for sure. Yeah, I, I just chuckled when you said stay in the loop because um, Alicia, the community manager, she always say stay in the loop. So it was like <laughs> toss some words and just and everything. But we are very big with keeping each other in the loop. We have group text messages, um, and then as far as like with the follow ups. Uh, Alicia and I go as far as to sometimes after a maintenance request that we know was giving someone an issue, we will actually go to the apartment. Mm -hmm. um, or if there is a service request that someone is saying like, this is really bothering me, we'll go prior to mm -hmm. maintenance and then we'll go after maintenance just to yeah. see the difference in the resolution. But I think it's important and you shouldn't feel like you can't ask a question because we're a team, we all have the same position, yeah. if that makes sense. Um, and you do everything you can until it gets to the manager, you yeah. know? And that is what we're there for. That's why we're out on the leasing desk first and then the assistant and then the manager. Mm -hmm. So it's like that chain of command and yeah. we try to avoid the manager as much as we can um, when it comes to resident issues and uh, residents wanting to speak with him. So mm -hmm. uh, I think that's important, that chain of command in a sense, but still keeping it a community and a team.